upgrade time. The new RAM I bought for the Dell Beast is uh, this set of Elpida. I haven't really heard of this brand before. Hopefully it'll be okay. There's a total of four sticks here, 256 megabytes each for a total of one gigabyte. There's still 800 megahertz speed and it's still uh, 45 nanoseconds. So that does match the existing RAM that's in the system. Hopefully it should work fine. That should provide a really quite a decent upgrade. I wanted to buy um, a, a matching set like this uh, to prevent any kind of uh, issues potentially with mixing different varieties um, or uh, manufacturers of RAM uh, with what's in there already, which is some Samsung. The new CPU I've bought is a Northward Pentium 4, 2.8 gigahertz, and of course it runs at the uh, 533 effective front side bus speed, uh, which is the maximum for this motherboard. 512 kilobytes of cache, that is double the existing Willamette cache. Uh, this particular model is SL6PF. With these new parts prepared, let's install them and also the GeForce 3 TI200 graphics card which I've now replaced the caps on. Here is the ghetto modded GeForce 3. We've got a fan on it now because we're probably going to overclock this. And obviously the modem goes back in because retro. Boot it up for the first time. Yes, it has. So let's have a look at the CPU, there it is 2.8 and we have one gigabyte of RAM, quick look at CPU Z, there it is Northward at 130 nanometer process, this is a single core uh, Northward, the motherboard as far as I'm aware can't take advantage of multi multi-threaded processors so there was no point in getting the multi-threaded version. I think it was a lot more expensive as well, the 533 MHz Northward multi-threaded version. Um, plenty of 800s about but far fewer 533s are multi-threaded. So what we'll do is, oh yeah, have a look at the memory. Great, all showing up. And let's benchmark this processor. Okay, there we go, 108, so only a little bit more than the other, uh, the Willamette core processor. That was about 88, I believe, um, and of course, also Sodor on multi-threaded. Let's run 3 Mark 2000.
Okay, so there's our result. It's 8,060 marks. And just to see the results there a little bit more detail. I'll be comparing that against the previous version. Now let's run 2001. So this time we've got 7,096 marks, and just to show you some details. Now all of that was running at stock clock speeds for the graphics card, which are 175 megahertz on the core and 400 on the memory. Now I have previously fiddled around with this card a little bit and so far I've been able to get it. So GeForce TI 500 speeds are 250 on the core and 500 on the memory. So when I've tested this, unfortunately it's not quite stable. We get some uh, artifacts. So you can see that on the screen just there. So it's not quite stable. It does sort of take the overclock. It's now set. Um, but there, well, actually, there were some artifacts before, and previously when I've run the game, it shows... Yeah, there they are, there's some artifacts on screen. So, not quite stable at that. However, I have had it stable at 230 and 500 on the memory. Let's see if it's stable at that again now. Hmm, not quite... Again. Okay, so there's 230 on the core, 500 on the memory, and can't see any artifacts there. So we'll try 2001 again and see what kind of difference we get. Okay, and the overclock has produced a score of 8,111, so that's a reasonable increase. Now, I think I saw some artefacting towards the end there of that benchmark, so I may have to tone down the uh, overclock slightly, uh, although clearly it is overall stable, it hasn't crashed at all. Um, I found that the core clock um, is the, the one that makes the most difference. Uh, the memory seems to be quite stable where it is, but when I adjust the core clock, that's when some artefacting don't, starts to come in. So that was a fairly successful overclock, so it's nearly at 300 uh, TI 500 speeds, uh, maybe you call it a, a TI 400 or 450 potentially. Uh, I don't know if I'll end up changing the BIOS of the graphics card at all, I'll probably just leave it as it is, just overclocked. So that was a fairly successful upgrade session. The computer is a little bit louder now, sorry I'm sure you can hear that there, that's partly because of the um, ghetto modded fan on the GeForce card. Um, the, uh, the computer now performs quite a lot better than it used to, which is nice. 
and I'll probably use this as a bit of an XP gaming rig just to play around with, but it was interesting to, uh, to have some fun with anyway. So thanks very much for watching.